Hey, so you're thinking about moving to Henderson here in Nevada, but you're still unsure what part of Henderson it is you want to move to. You don't know which areas are for which things, maybe something that's going to be right for you or wrong for you. Henderson has a whole host of different neighborhoods and different areas. So I know it can be quite overwhelming when you're doing your research. That's why I've done this video, because in this video, I'm going to go through some of the top neighborhoods in Henderson. And that way you'll have a better understanding of where you might want to live or where you might not want to live. But we're going to start right now. My name is Peter and I get calls, texts, emails all the time from people just like you who are looking to make the move to Las Vegas and I absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in 9 days, 90 days, even 9 months, please give me a shout. You can give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. You can also jump on a Zoom and you can book that down on the link below. And I really would love you to get in touch and I can help you make a smooth move to the Las Vegas area. But just know that matter what happens, if you're working with me, with the ups, the downs, the lefts, the rights, I'll be sure to have your back on your move to Vegas for sure. So today we're talking about Henderson. Now Henderson is a separate city to Las Vegas. A lot of people confuse it and think maybe it's just a suburb, confuse it and you know everyone compares Summerlin and Henderson and that's not really a fair comparison. You're comparing a city to a master plan community. But Henderson is a separate city. It has its own police department, its own municipal courts, and it is completely separate. Although it is so close, it is completely separate but yet you still have all the benefits of being so close to the main parts of Las Vegas. It's located to the south of Las Vegas and there's some amazing neighborhoods within Henderson. Henderson is also constantly ranked as either the second or third safest largest city in the whole of the US and it has one of the best set of schools within the Clark County School District. Although the Clark County School District isn't one of the best school districts in the country, the, the schools in Henderson do score quite highly and no matter which part of Henderson you're in, you're going to be sure to be quite close to a really good school, especially the high schools in Henderson. They are definitely amazing. So if schooling is going to be important for you, if you're going to be moving here with work and getting able to commute is going to be important to you, or if you're retiring and you want somewhere that's quiet and peaceful, but still enjoying outdoor living, Henderson's going to tick all of those boxes. We just need to find you the right neighborhood and the right area that's going to work for you. And that's why we've done this video. So the first area we're talking about is Inspirada. Now Inspirada is a master planned community located to the southwest of Henderson. The land is quite elevated, so you're going to get some amazing views that look back down towards the city. Daytime and evening time, those views look really good. And then there's going to be some great mountain views as well. And you know me and mountain views, it's what I live for. So mountain views and city views are going to be really good up there. Constantly, it's brighter and definitely at the moment is probably in the top 10 best selling master planned communities within the whole of the US. It's definitely the number one best selling master planned community in Henderson and it is a very popular place to live. A lot of people, when they're looking at moving to the area, it's brighter is one of the places that they definitely consider. And here are going to be some of the reasons why. You know, if you're looking for an outdoor living, outdoor active lifestyle, then in Inspirada, you're going to have five parks to choose from. You're going to have 35 miles of trails to walk, cycle and run. In those parks that I mentioned, you're going to have different themes and different sports as well that you can do. So you'll never get bored and you can bounce from one park to the other if you want to do. Whether it's soccer, baseball, basketball, there's going to be skate parks, swimming. There's going to be playgrounds and splash pads and there's a little outdoor gym for the kids to go on. There's great dog parks up there as well. And one of the things I love, one of the parks has like a, one of those big keyboards that when you step on the keys, it actually makes the, the music like in the film Big. It always gives me the flashback to the film Big, which is probably showing my age. But I remember Tom Hanks in the toy store playing a great tune by, by running on those keys. And although I try to replicate it, I quite, can't quite manage it. But it looks great fun and the kids definitely love stepping on the keys and making a bit of music as well. And as I said, you've got those trails as well, and those trails sort of connect the whole community to the parks. The whole community is built around those parks, and you know the whole community is about community and being out with your neighbours. There's quite often lots of events that go on. There's yoga on the grass. There's a farmer's market as well that goes on. And there's many, many more events that go on up in Inspirada that are all aimed at the community and everyone being out and having fun together. So it's definitely great. 
if you're thinking maybe Inspirad is going to be a bit too far away from everything, you're only going to be probably, with traffic, maybe a 20 minute drive to the strip, 20 minute drive to the airport, so you're not going to be too stranded. It's going to be probably a 10 minute drive back to the other parts of Henderson where all the main stores are, so your grocery shopping, your Target is not going to be too far. And there's a little small little shopping area within Inspirada as well that has some small shops for you to check out as well. If you're moving with a family, then Inspirada has some great schools. You have Inspirada Pinecrest and Ellis Elementary for the elementary schools. You have Dalweb Middle School, which is a great middle school. And then you have Liberty High School, which is, again, those schools are all ranked really, really highly within, admittedly, a very poor school district. But at least with the poor school district, you're in the better schools. And those schools are really, really good schools to be in. And that's one of the pools of the Inspirada area is the schools that it is zoned for. So definitely if you're moving with kids, the schools there are going to be great for you. I don't think you're going to have any worries there. If you're looking for a property though that has a larger lot or maybe a bit more breathing space between your neighbours or an older home that you can really go in and renovate or streets that are wider, that's not going to be an Inspirado. It is a modern community. The homes are modern. You know, you, with new construction, the lots are really small. Everyone's quite close together and the, the road, roads are quite narrow. So if that's what you're looking for, then maybe look at somewhere else different to Inspirada, maybe one of the other areas that I mentioned. But with the smaller yard, you got the trade off of the parks and all the great stuff that's outdoors to do. I personally would love to move to Inspirada, but my wife wants to stay in Green Valley and you know what they say, happy wife, happy life. But if you can think of how I convince her to, to move up to Inspirada, then pop that down in the comments below and I'll certainly try my luck. I love Inspirada and I think it's a great community if you are looking for a community. The next area I'm going to talk about is Green Valley. Now I'm going to couple Green Valley is separated into Green Valley North, Green Valley Ranch, Green Valley South. I'm going to couple them all in together. They are completely different and they are they have different home styles. They have everything is quite different, but they are still Green Valley, but obviously separated into the three. But I'm going to cover all three in this point because I, I think as a whole, Green Valley is a great place to live. I actually live in Green Valley myself, so I think it's a great place to call home. And one of the reasons we moved there was the school and thinking not just the elementary and middle, but also Green Valley High School, which is one of the best high schools within the Clark County School District. But yeah, as I said, Green Valley is separated into the three. So Green Valley North is actually the oldest master plan community within the Las Vegas and Henderson area. And with that, you're going to have properties that are sitting on a larger lot. You're going to have roads that are going to be a lot wider. The landscaping is going to be a lot more mature than other parts of the area as well. So it's going to be very green. It's going to be very wide. So everything just feels a lot more space to breathe is how I call it. Green Valley North is where actually we live and we love it. Although I would love to move to Inspirada and there's quite a lot of differences in that sense between Inspirada and Green Valley North. But it's fantastic and it's really well located. It's just towards the, the tip of Las Vegas. So if you're getting back to the strip, if you're working somewhere central within Las Vegas, then traveling isn't gonna to be too bad. You know, it takes us probably 15 minutes or so to get back to the strip or to the airport, which isn't too far at all when we wanna have a date night on the strip or if we have family that are coming over to pick them up from the airport as well. Our brother-in-law from Canada is always coming down to see us and literally just takes us, by the time he lands and gets through everything and gets his bag by the time he tells us he's landed we're already there ready to pick him up so not far at all to get back there also we're going to have a lot of families end up moving to green valley north because it's quite affordable there's not too many hoas within the area as well so that's also fantastic and as i said it's in a great school district there's some great grocery shopping options as well whether that's going to trader joe's or whole foods although whole foods is probably a little bit more closer to green valley ranch you're going to also have Ethel M Chocolate Factory, which is great to take the kids to. And the Cactus Garden there is fantastic. They have seasonal displays within the Cactus Garden. Generally, it's free to go and walk around the garden, but they also do Valentine's and Christmas, and it looks gorgeous when they have it done as well. So definitely convenience and some of the other things to get around within Green Valley North are fantastic. We also quite often go to the Galleria Mall to do some of our shopping, or sometimes I'll stop in the Starbucks there as well and just people watch. One of my favorite Starbucks and all the, the staff there are amazing. They always get my order right perfectly and they're super friendly. I know that's a Starbucks thing, but I always feel it's genuine in that store. So definitely go and check out Starbucks in Galleria Mall and tell them Peter said hello. And as a whole, I think the Green Valley North area is really good. 
The next part of Green Valley is Green Valley Ranch, and Green Valley Ranch is a, you know quite a bit more upscale to Green Valley North. And one of the best things about it is its location. Obviously, it's located really close to the district, which is a great shopping and dining area, but it's actually tucked away from the main roads and the 215, so you're not actually near the main roads, which is really good, really quiet. And it's also very walkable as well, and the streets are still lined with beautiful trees. It's still really green and really shaded as well. And the homes there are gorgeous. You're still gonna be located within a good school district. So if you're moving as a family, it's gonna be fantastic. Now there are probably some more HOAs within the Green Valley Rancher area and there's some more gated communities within there as well. But if you don't mind that, that's not a bad trade off. You're gonna have Whole Foods there as well for your shopping, which is a great grocery store. Or to get back to the other parts of Henderson or to the Strip and the airport, again, it isn't gonna to be too far from Green Valley Ranch. So if you're looking for an upscale neighborhood that is still not too far away from everything else, Green Valley Ranch is gonna be definitely a, a good option for you. And then there's Green Valley South, and Green Valley South is gonna have you know, quite a lot from entry level homes all the way up to guard gated um, communities as well. It's sort of in between, I would say, Green Valley North and Green Valley Ranch in terms of price points and in terms of being upscale. One of the big differences between Green Valley North and South is Green Valley North is quite close to a lot of the shopping areas and quite walkable to some of them shopping areas as well. Green Valley South is a lot more residential, so it's a lot more quiet, probably a lot more safer for a younger family. All of the area of Green Valley though is really nice. It's really surrounded by really good schools as well. I definitely love living in Green Valley. I think you can't go wrong with Green Valley North, South or Ranch. It just depends on what sort of budget you're looking to spend and what you sort of want from that neighborhood. You know, if you want older homes that are gonna be sitting on larger lots and wider roads, Green Valley North is gonna be for you. If you want something a bit more upscale and a bit more nicer feeling and newer feeling, then definitely go Green Valley Ranch. If you want what sounds like in Green Valley North, but you don't wanna be surrounded by commercial, you wanna be more residential, check out Green Valley South. The next area to talk about is gonna be McDonald Ranch. McDonald Ranch probably doesn't get as many people looking at it or as many eyes on it as some of its trendier neighbors like Green Valley and Anthem and Seven Hills. And it's probably because it's located all between those areas and sometimes gets forgotten about. But make no mistake about it, it's probably a hidden gem within the Henderson area. It's located in the foothills of the mountains and with that you're gonna have some elevation that's gonna give you those amazing city views like up in Inspirado as well. Although it's not as far away from the main parts of Henderson, so traveling back to the other parts of Henderson is really convenient from McDonald Ranch. But then you also have the peace and quiet. You know, it feels like you're living in the city, but you're a million miles away from the city. And it always is really quiet up in McDonald Ranch. Really, really safe community as well. Now it's built up on loads of different, or a few different neighborhoods. And some of those neighborhoods are Sunridge McDonald Ranch, Foothills at McDonald Ranch, the Canyons. Sun City McDonald Ranch, which is the active over 55 community. And they all have different themes. They all have different, they were built at different times. So the houses are gonna look a bit different and feel a bit different in those neighborhoods as well. So obviously if you're looking at a 55 plus community, then look at Sun City. If you're not, check out some of the other neighborhoods and have a drive by and see if the property feels like it's gonna be what you're looking for in your neighborhood. Also, all the different neighborhoods have different amenities that they have on offer, whether that's community parks, whether that's gonna be the different sports like tennis and pickleball, whatever it is, there's quite a few different sports. There's gonna be gyms, fitness centers, and activity center. They all have walking trails and cycling trails as well, which is really great for those of you who like being outdoors and active and enjoying the many, many days of sunshine that we get. So I definitely think McDonald Ranch is great. You're gonna have, as I said, the benefit of being so well connected to the rest of the city, but also the peace and quiet as well of being near the mountains and being away from everything. So definitely check it out. If you're already considering the likes of Green Valley, Anthem and Seven Hills, just go and have a look at McDonald Ranch and I don't think you'll be disappointed and come back and let me know in the comments below what you thought. Next up is Anthem. Now Anthem is one of the premier high-end communities within the whole of Las Vegas. You know, you, just when you're driving into Anthem and you see the welcome to Anthem sign and the waterfall, you just feel, you feel the opulence, you feel the high-endness of it all. And it's made up of different communities within Anthem. So you obviously have Anthem Country Club, which is the luxurious part. It's got some multi-million dollar custom homes within there. 
some gated and guard gated and double gated communities within the country club and the country club itself is fantastic it's got one of the two golf courses within the community gorgeous gorgeous golf course and also the clubhouse there is fantastic some great facilities as well as uh, some great places to grab a bite to eat as well and obviously with that obviously you're going to get quite high hoa fees for all of those benefits but definitely if you're looking for something luxury and you're looking in the multi-million dollar range check out anthem country club the more affordable part of Anthem was meant to be Coventry at Anthem, which again has some great homes, some great lot sizes as well for the price point. And then there's Anthem Highlands, which I actually think is more affordable than Coventry at Anthem. Anthem Highlands is great. It's tucked away a little bit more. You got some more elevation as well. So with that, you're going to have some amazing views. And as I said, it's tucked away a little bit more. So it feels a little bit more quiet than some of the other parts where you can still get straight back onto Eastern Avenue and you're still not far away, but it just feels like you are. Some great schools without, around Anthem as well. So if you're moving with a family, Anthem can definitely tick that box. And then there's two active 55 communities within Anthem. There's going to be Sun City at Anthem and Solera. Solera is a little bit newer, so the homes are a little bit more modern. And I think it's a bit more cheaper in Solera as well. So definitely check out both of those though, if you're coming here and you're looking for a 55 plus active community. Both Sun City and Solera have a great set of amenities for the residents as well. So check it out and make sure it's going to be something that you're going to enjoy doing. And as I said, it's always, always one of the highest rated areas to live. You know, everyone always talks about Anthem. It's quite often compared to Summerlin. It does have that premier luxury feel about it. And because of that, obviously, you're going to have quite a higher price point than the rest of the area. So check it out and make sure it's going to be something that works for you. My favourite neighbourhood though in Anthem has to be Coventry at Anthem. I love the parks, I love the trails. It's so great to just walk around. It feels nice and relaxing there. One thing I do say about Anthem is although it is quite a high-end place, I never feel like anyone has their nose up. Everyone's real friendly in all parts of Anthem. So definitely go and check it out. I did have a friend who moved there previously. He lived downtown Las Vegas and then he moved to Anthem and he didn't like it. So it's not for everybody. I know when I was moving here, I originally had it as one of my favorite places to move to if I lived in Henderson. And I'm starting to change that now, as I've said already, I'd like to move to Inspirada. But I think Anthem is definitely, if you're looking for something high end and you know that feeling of something high end and that's what you're looking for and that's your taste, you're definitely gonna love Anthem. And then last but no means least, we're gonna talk about Seven Hills. Now Seven Hills is a great, gorgeous golf community. If you're looking for a golf community, then definitely Seven Hills is gonna be the one for you. It's built around the fabulous Rio Seco golf course, which is a really good golf course to go and check out as well. On that golf course, you have some great views and some of those views are quite distracting when I've been on there. I've, you know, my game is not the game it used to be when I was younger, but even then I was too busy looking at the, the views to concentrate on my game. So some amazing views. A lot of the homes within the community are gonna have either city views or also golf views. And one of the things I love about the community is it's one of the few places, if you have a home in that community, you get to see the sunrise and the sunset from most of the homes within there. Some of the sunsets within Henderson are the best, I think, by far. Certainly some of the best that I've seen. I know those of you who have lived in, in places like this probably have seen sunsets all your life. Coming from the UK, though, I didn't see the sunsets we see here, so I absolutely love it. And definitely, as I said, it's a really great community. It gets its name from the Seven Hills of Rome. And with that, you're gonna have a lot of Mediterranean and Roman influence within the community. A lot of the homes have a Mediterranean feel to the exterior. A lot of the different neighborhoods are, are marked by uh, beautiful white columns as well, which to me feels real Mediterranean as well. And it's just nice to go and drive through the community. I often go there to play golf, as I said, but even just driving through the community when I'm doing a tour with a client, it's just beautiful. I love the, the Mediterranean. I love, and I know it's another reason I love Lake Las Vegas, which just didn't make this list. But again, that Mediterranean sort of feel in the properties is what I love. So if that's going to be the sort of flavor that you're looking for, for a property that you're going to be in, definitely check out Seven Hills. If you're moving as a family, Seven Hills schools that are zoned for at the moment, none of those schools drop below a nine on greatschools.org. So if schooling is important to you and you're moving as a family, as I said, Seven Hills could be one for you, but it also attracts a lot of people who are moving to retire to the area. It's quite quiet, it's quite peaceful, it's very safe, it's very walkable within the community as well because of all the trails, lots of green trees that line it. So definitely it's gonna be, if you're moving as a family or you're retiring here or anything in between and you just love playing golf, it's gonna tick a lot of those boxes for you. 
and definitely check out those views when you do go and tour the community and pop down in the comments below what you think of those. And that's it guys, that's my top areas to live in Henderson, Nevada. Now if I've missed something off the list or if there's one of those areas you'd like me to cover in more detail, pop that down in the comments below and I'll make sure I do that for you. Also, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe and tap on the bell for notifications and you'll be amongst the first to know about the local market conditions here in Las Vegas. Please go ahead and like the video. That way it'll help those who are also looking at moving to the area to maybe see this video and help them on their journey of relocation as well as helping me. So I appreciate it. Thank you for the likes. And then just as a reminder, if you are thinking about moving to Las Vegas, then please do get in touch. I would really love to help you out. You can give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. All my details are down below. We can also jump on a Zoom and have that conversation one to one there as well. And I really, really would love to help you with your move here. Thank you to everybody who has already reached out to me. I've enjoyed working with you all. I enjoy the ones that I'm working with now as well. And I hope you're enjoying the process as much as I am. I've certainly enjoyed getting to know you as well. And thank you for watching, guys. Until the next time, you take care.